ஹலோ வெரி குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் டு ஒன் ஆன் ஒன் ஆன் ஆல் ப்ரெசென்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஜிகர் ரத்னோத்தர் ஃப்ரம் அட்மே இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் த பேப்பர் ஜிடியூ கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்டார்டிங் question number 1 calculate the value of resistance this is a two marks question so each question contains the two marks this is the uh, short questions the f- number 1 the calculate the value of the resistor having the color bands is per the indian national flame uh, color code of the resistor question number 2 the explain the term the reluctance what is reluctance for the magnetic circuit question 3 the flaming's right hand rule the question number 4 what is the q factor and in the which parameter it depends the question number 5 in rlc circuit series circuit at the resonant voltage across the inductor is 300 volt then the supply voltage is 230 then find the voltage across the capacitor and the resistor on which factors question number 6 does the capacitance of capacitor depend question number 7 the relationship find out the relationship between the line current and line voltage phase current and phase voltage for the three phase circuit connection is star and delta so now uh, solve the questions one by one starting with the question number 1 color code of the resistor resistor values a mark into the body of the resistor using a series of colored band all the resistor whatever you see they are marked with certain kinds of the colors now this gives the value of the resistor these colors are give the value of the resistor and other information related to the uh, to the resistor like a tolerance and sometimes the temperature coefficient so there is no need to find out any time the value of the resistor with using the multimeter you can also a uh, measure the value of a resistor with using the color code technique so here we are just going to uh, so uh, know how the color code is useful in a resistor this is the figure where you can just see the diagram of the resistor the different different colors are marked into the body of a resistor generally the first second and third first second and third are the digits uh, for a uh, applied for the values of a resistor the fourth one is used for the tolerance this is the indicated with the color code for the resistor different different kinds of bands you can see easily now just go through one videos according to that video you can easily find out the value of or the solve the value of a resistor color code for resistors A circuit device made to have a specific value of resistance between its ends is called a resistor. Resistors in the range 0.01 ohms to 10 to the power 7 ohms can be bought off the shelf. The resistor is marked with the standard code using three or four color bands according to the color scheme shown in the table. Click on the button to view the table. The first two bands represent the significant digits. The third band indicates the decimal multiplier and the last band stands for the tolerance level or the maximum power that it can dissipate. This resistor has a value of 47 kilo ohms and plus or minus 10% tolerance. Let us try to read the value of this resistor. From the table we know that the first band that is yellow corresponds to 4. Violet corresponds to 7. The third band which is a multiplier corresponds to 10 to the power 3 and the last band which is silver tells us that the tolerance level is plus or minus 10%. The value of this resistor is 47 into 10 to the power 3 ohms. plus or minus 10% or it is equal to 47 kilo ohms plus or minus 10% tolerance
Here is a mnemonic, the art of improving memory. B.B. Roy of Great Britain had a very good wife. Now try to calculate the value of the resistors displayed here. The BB Roy goes to Bombay via gateway. This is again one of the short form of the color code technique. So uh, according to this, that statement and the color code schemes, you can easily identify whatever the uh, any kind of uh, register the values. Now move towards the next question about the reluctance. Reluctance is a term related to the magnetic field or the magnetic material. Reluctance is it is the property of a magnetic any kind of magnetic material to oppose the magnetic flux produced by itself see the magnetic material has the capacity to produce the magnetic flux uh, due to itself or whenever the current passing through it or energy uh, excited from the any external applied electric field so the property of that material particular material to oppose the its uh, uh, itself uh, magnetic flux then it is known as a reluctance so the amount of opposing the opposing the property of the uh, magnetic field that one is related to directly the reluctance the second definition of the reluctance it is the ratio of magnetomotive force which is short formally known as a mmf to the generated magnetic field so if you are taking the ratio of mmf towards the magnetic field then you can easily find uh, uh, you can also find out the value of reluctance reluctance is denoted as the symbol s capital s so according to the definition of uh, 2 we can find out the value of s is s equals to mmf magnetomotive force upon magnetic flux the unit of reluctance s is 80 by weber the next question three the fleming's right hand rule the fleming's right hand rule shows the direction of the induced current so whenever you have to just find out the direction of current then the Fleming's right hand rule is very useful. Whenever any conductor, current carrying conductor moves in a magnetic field, then the necessity of finding the direction of the current, then this rule is very useful. The right hand is held or the cap such like that, the thumb, the first finger and the second finger, they are uh, mutually perpendicular or with the 90 degree with each other now what exactly the first finger the thumb and the second finger indicates let's see the thumb which represent the direction of the mag motion of the conductor so whatever the motion of your conductor put your thumb into that direction now with the 90 degree of the th of thumb put the first finger so your first finger represent the direction of the magnetic field so your second finger is again the 90 degree with your first finger which represent the direction of the induced current or the generated current due to that magnetic field so you can easily find out again i am telling you you can easily find out your the direction of the induced current whatever the motion of your conductor just put the, your thumb 
into that direction your so your first finger indicates the uh, uh, magnetic field and your second finger which is again 90 degree with your first finger which represent the di induced uh, current or the direction of the induced current see this is the figure which exactly shows the 90 degree they all three are the 90 degree with each other you are uh, where you can find just your thumb represent the motion of the conductor upward with the exactly 90 degree your first finger which represent the magnetic field and with the 90 with the first finger 90 degree your second finger represent the uh, induced current so this is the fleming's right hand rule to find out again uh, i'm telling you to find out the induced uh, direction of the induced current in a magnetic field whenever you are putting the current uh, current carrying conductor into the magnetic field now just go through one video which can be easily uh, identified the uh, direction of the induced current fleming's right hand rule when the thumb the four finger and the central finger of the right hand are stretched mutually perpendicular to each other and are held such that the four finger is along the direction of magnetic field b and the thumb is along the direction of motion m of the linear conductor then the central finger points along the direction of induced current i or electromotive force consider a rectangular coil abcd placed in a magnetic field b due to horse shoe shaped permanent magnet sn if the coil is rotated in anti clockwise direction such arm ab moves upwards or cd moves downwards the induced current will appear from a to b in the arm ab according to fleming's right hand rule similarly in the arm cd the current will be from c to d thus fleming's right hand rule helps in determining the direction of the induced current or electromotive force here you can uh, according to that video there is no need to only uh, move your conductor in the anti clockwise you can also moving the conductor into the clockwise so according to the moving of the co uh, co uh, conductor you you have to just put your thumb your first finger or you can say that your four finger and your second finger so you can easily find out your uh, induced direction of the induced current now move towards the next question the capacitance of a capacitor it is the capacity of capacitor to store the charge inside the capacitor then it is known as a charge of capacitor or the capacitance of capacitor every capacitor has the capacity to store the amount of charge so that amount of charge is known as the capacitance of that particular capacitor there are different different kinds of capacitors so different different kinds of capacitance also now we know that the charge of capacitor is proportional to the potential difference v between the two plates the two parallel plates so whatever the potential difference or the applied electric field uh, outside then it is directly proportional to the generated capacitance this is they are the directly proportional with each other the factors which affects the capacitances there are generally the four types of parameters which affects your capacitance first of all the shapes of the plates you have to just define the shapes of the plate they are either the circular they are either the square whatever so that directly your shapes uh, affects the capacitance of capacitor the next one again the size of the plates uh, if your size are this less your the capacitance capacitance are less if the size of the plates uh, plates of the capacitor are more or increase then again the capacitance are increased so the capacitance is directly depends upon the size of plates so it affects your capacitance the distance between the two plates if you kept the two plates are very near or you can kept your two plates of the capacitor are more distance then it directly affects your capacitance capacitance is uh, two parallel plates 
or the medium between the two parallel plates of uh, in a capacitor are behave, are behave like an insulating material the last one the dielectric medium whatever i tell you the dielectric it means that insulating so that uh, four factors are more affect your capacitance of capacitor now just go through a video problems with electric in electric circuits with capacitors and resistors there are several different terms that you should have a good conceptual understanding of one of them is capacitance another is current then we have resistance and we have voltage and we have charge and a lot of times I think people are doing calculations they're getting the right answers but I'm really not sure that they understand kind of in general conceptually what these things are like what is current what is charge and what is capacitance especially when we're doing equ equations or problems using Ohm's law V equals I times R, the voltage is the current times resistance, or as I like to call it, the capacitor equation, Q equals C times V, which is charge equals capacitance times the voltage. All right, so today we're going to go over capacitance. Now, capacitance, like resistance, it's kind of hard to come up with a good definition of capacitance. Now, I know, and maybe you have seen these things, these are capacitors. These capacitors have capacitance. The capacitance of this capacitor is 1,000 microfarads. Capacitance is measured in farads. This one is a 10 microfarad capacitor. Most capacitors have a capacitance of less than one farad. Okay, one farad is a lot of capacitance. Right now, you, of course, you can get them, but most of the ones you get at the store that you use in electronics have a capacitance of less than uh, one farad. Now, what does that mean? That means that they can store charge. That's what capacitance.